what's up everybody welcome back to exotic astrology and today we are going to discuss on a very interesting topic yes 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 it is not on the gita it is not on astrology it is not on the shrimad bhagavatam it is on kama sutra <laughs> the other day i got a question from somebody and when i saw this question i was amazed because this was the same question which i had asked to one of my shiksha gurus in the year 2010 roughly <laughs> when i was in my first semester of engineering in srm university chennai india and then i got the answer and i was so happy <laughs> and the question which i had asked was what is why in the universe there is a scripture like kama sutra for sexuality of a prostitution or for indulgence in the in the vedic canon which talks of very high level things like celibacy which talks of sanyas which talks of spiritual enlightenment yes what is the purpose of all what why 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 do you need to write at all the kama sutra <laughs> yes i always had this question there i used to feel maybe this was put by somebody else or maybe this was written by some somebody who was not related to this this tradition or maybe there's some other reason but when i got the answer i was totally baffled i was i was totally amazed by the answer and so today i will also reveal that answer here all right and uh, before i begin as i always say god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him and if you are new to the channel and you have not yet subscribed then please subscribe to it and if you want a consultation then please approach me through my website the link is there in the description below and i also made a lot of changes to my website i have added the family package also now because many people have told me that we want to uh, take a consultation for four people so then you can go there in option i don't know 6 or 7 you can see multiple packages all right so yes this option 6 is there and then if you uh, are from india and you are having difficulty in using paypal then the address for uh, the bank in india is also given so you can now go and do transfers using your indian account also all right so now let's begin what is the ultimate purpose of astrology uh, sorry not astrology kama sutra <laughs> see astrology is coming okay so before i begin uh, to speak on the purpose of kama sutra i would like to give a warning here that i have made many videos in this line like i have a video on homosexuality indications of homosexuality in the uh, in the horoscope and i also have a video on solutions to planets in the 8th house so these two are the videos which has some similar content like this all right content in the sense what i'm going to speak in the video so if you watched those two videos and you felt offended or if you are too much obsessed with sex or meeting the opposite sex always messaging always typing always waiting or you dilly dally too much yes or you are in fantasy or you are in la la land you are you are imagining you are assuming things yes things are going on out of proportion prostitution pornography physical relations with too many people then probably you will not like to see this video because there will be when many strong things which i will say here all right so i am giving the caution viewers discretion is <laughs> advised so now if you still decide to watch it let's begin what kama sutra is so kama sutra basically is what it is a description of how to uh, uh, unite with the opposite sex it is a book it's a literature on all, all those and so many other things are also there i don't know much detail because i have never seen or read it neither do i plan to but the question is why is a scripture like that in the vedic canon yes the answer is the vedic culture is not only for the brahmins or the kshatriyas or the vaishyas okay the vedic culture is universal for everybody and when i say everybody it means all classes of people all categories of people are included in that yes so basically what happens is in the vedic culture in the scriptures of uh, of the veda i mean of the tradition there are different stages where we can start it depending on our situation of course which means that if somebody is born in a brahmin family or is having that disposition 
by which he or she likes to read the scriptures likes to read the different uh, stories pertaining to god or spirituality or they have that spiritual bent of mind or they want to live like a sanyasi yes then they are allowed to read different scriptures yes like the shrimad bhagavatam there is gita the upanishads all these things are there now suppose somebody is not like that somebody wants that oh i will only go to go to god when i need something yes so for them the worship of demigods is there yes which means that uh, the scriptures say if you want a good wife you should go to lord shiva if you want a good husband you should go to mother parvati yes then if you want wealth you should go to kuber you should go to ganesh if you want strength you should go to hanuman if you want position post name fame authority you should worship indra yes these are the various prescriptions and prohibitions which are there that if you want this don't do this don't do that so for them uh, for this category of people the worship of demigods is prescribed yes where they go to god and they have no interest in that personality but they only are interested in knowing how this person can help me fulfill my uh, materialistic needs which means when a person goes to lord shiva and asks oh give me a good wife then the person is not interested in shiva he is not interested in staying or knowing or going close to shiva instead he is interested in using shiva for his own benefits yes so for them these kind of things are there yes then if somebody is interested in eating meat or is interested in all these things then for them kali worship is prescribed why is kali worship prescribed kali worship is prescribed because in the uh, in the mode of tamas which is tamoguna which is ignorance the third mode sattva raja tama these are the three modes so in the mode of tamas there is all this black magic is there there is wine there is alcohol and there is smoking then there is meat yes so when somebody is eating meat then the scripture say oh don't eat meat like this offer to goddess kali and then you eat which means that when you and now there are a lot of regulations inside that so basically what happens is when a person is indulging in sinful habits like eating meat because why is it sinful because he or she is taking the life of the animal which he is not supposed to because he has not given life so one who has not given life does not have the right to take life all right so because of that he gets punished by god and by laws of nature and this is not some orthodoxical hindu or islamic teaching oh god will send you to hell if you do that it's not like it's very logical if i go and uh, start beating your child yes suppose you are a father you are watching this if i start going and punching and kicking your son or daughter you, you will not spare me right so why will god spare us if we go and kill his children and he should not spare us also okay so that's the way law of karma works that's the law of justice which is there so you do something you harm others then that person harms you in the next life or in the future life times so to regulate that yes the scriptures give a the scriptures give a allowance which is that oh in circum certain circumstances you can offer meat to goddess kali and then you can eat yes which means that you cannot eat meat just like that yes you have to offer to kali in this fortnight in this moon night in this amavasya in this purnima in this tithi yes so then you can eat so it's like instead of eating 365 days the person is now forced to eat in some particular days and then after doing that for long the person understands that anyways better i leave this because anyways i can't eat the scriptures don't permit so when they do this under the regulation of the scriptures then they elevate themselves gradually spiritually yes because then they start looking to higher things also now coming to kama sutra <laughs> this video was about kama sutra right so now people say oh kama sutra is written so that it gives us more sexual uh, enjoyment when we are having sex with somebody well the answer is not true <laughs> why the answer is not true because now 
the strong things i'll say here okay so again i'm saying if you if you feel offended by the things which i spoke in those two videos then please walk away from here okay because later on i will not respond to the essays and the big big mails that you write or whatever you type there in the comments i will simply ignore all those okay so again i am saying please be cautioned when you hear this all right so now what's about kama sutra so kama sutra why is it there what do you think now you may think oh maybe more 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 pleasure right no that's not the reason because why see my guru gave this example perfect it's like hitting the bulls eye as you say so what one of my gurus said is that if you take a glass of milk or not one glass suppose there's a big jar of milk yes and you divide it into five different cups one cup is of bronze color the other is of silver the other is of uh, copper the other is of some other metal and then the other one is of maybe diamond <laughs> okay so the same milk you are distributing in five different cups and every cup has a different color to it yes so now my guru had asked me and some of my god brothers were sitting there in chennai <laughs> so he had asked so now if i tell you which cup would you pick which one would you pick would you pick the cup which has the milk in the bronze or in gold or silver or platinum or diamond or what whatever it is which one would you pick then we gave the answer that anyways guru maharaj how does it matter which one we pick because ultimately our aim is not the cup right our aim is the milk <laughs> so because of that whichever cup we pick the milk will have the same taste yes which simply means however you have sex with whomever however that person is how, how much ever that person is beautiful or the person is ugly the pleasure which you get during that orgasm is not because of the body of that person it is because that sensation is there in your private parts it is coming from your body it is not coming from that person's body yes because the chemicals are secreted in your body it is not secreted in their body <laughs> so when people say oh i don't want to marry this person this, that person is not looking good because uh, that person is not looking that great well then i laugh at them because they think that uh that uh, that other person if they are uniting with somebody uh, who looks better they will have a better experience but that's not the case actually because the amount of pleasure is the same because that is coming from your body it is not coming from their body yes so similarly if you change the color of the cup the milk will not change the taste will be the same yes so if that is the case why did vyasadev or why did our rishis our gurus our sages and saints they wrote books like this they wrote literatures like this what's the reason the reason is very simple kama sutra is meant for the shudra class okay shudra class now who are the shudra shudras are not the all those nonsensical dalit things which are going on in india oh that person is upper caste that person is lower caste that person is brahmin vaishya satya so that whatever is going on in india in now in the name of caste system is total nonsense this there is nothing like this okay because lord krishna says in the gita that chatur varnyam maya system guna karma vibhagasha so the caste system which is there is based on guna and karma he does not say janma karma vibhagasha so he does not say that oh you are born in a sharma bharadwaj or goswami family so you are a brahmin no it's not like that So he said, guna and karma, okay, qualities and activities. On the basis of these two, your varna is decided. Yes. So for the shudras, the most important trait of a shudra is there. I mean, there are three traits. My guru says, the shudra is characterized by three things. They are interested in only three things. One is wine. The other is women. The other is entertainment. W W E World Wrestling Entertainment. <laughs> so if you want to know who is a shudra. just go and check their lives if you see the only three things which are prominent in their life they are having a beautiful wife and they are going around and drinking wine today i am going to this party today i am going to that party oh today that person is getting married my school friend is getting married yes so then i am taking my wife or my husband shudra can be anybody anybody male or female it doesn't matter but 
or and that person is going oh today there's ipl match today the new season of game of thrones is out yes so we must see that oh today the new season of big boss is out you see the new restaurant is opened in uh, pune india yes or in chennai yes oh there's a new delicacy in the city you see there is a, a place where we go and eat jalebis like there's a restaurant in uh, pune i know jalebi junction <laughs> so many people come there from far yes so a shudra is only interested in three things wine women entertainment yes so if you see that anybody their focus in life is these three things just going on partying or roaming with their husband and wife going to this place and enjoying going to that place and enjoying and just having fun entertainment basically then that person is technically a shudra because that person has no higher inquisitiveness yes so anybody who has no higher inquisitiveness about god about spirituality as they say athato brahma jigyasa that person is considered to be a shudra so now for shudras you go and tell them oh there is this scripture you know bhagavad gita you should go and read it you should hear there is shrimad bhagavatam they are like man i'm not interested in all this like so many uh, people i have in my family yes so many people i have among my relatives so many friends my god i mean they were friends not friends anymore i mean i still have contact with them so they ask me sometimes so i i heard that you have a channel now what do you discuss there i say sometimes i discuss about astrology sometimes i discuss about shrimad bhagavatam about gita oh okay mm, gita okay mm, nice good luck <laughs> so that's the response they give so many other of my family members i have yes in in my close circles when they hear oh where you are going oh to this satsang program on sunday hmm. nice go <laughs> so these are the type of responses which i get yes from some of my relatives my family members and from some of my friends yes so that means or it can be from a stranger also anybody yes or it can be from your husband or from your wife also or from your child or from your mother father anybody it can be so then they are so much caught up because as the shrimad bhagavatam says na manovarathe na sati dhavato bahi they are in the chariot of the mind today the mind is telling oh that girl is beautiful tomorrow the mind is telling oh that boy is beautiful yes today the mind is telling oh look that chocolate is so nice oh look iphone x is here na iphone x blue snowball is also here <laughs> let's go and purchase blue snowball so then they are so much obsessed because they are, the situation of shudras is they are like the buffalo who is sitting in the gutter so for example if there is a man who is totally obsessed by his wife yes i am not talking of the hindi movie joru ka gulam here i am not talking of that okay so don't type in the comments that oh i am not a joruga gulam i am not a slave of my wife nah she is a very nice whatever it is if you are totally obsessed with with your spouse yes and you are having zero inquisitiveness spiritually and you are not at all having any spiritual goal or any a, a, any spiritual practice in your life and you are going on indulging in wwe wine women entertainment yes going from here to there this party today go go uh. <laughs> and if you are indulging then we uh, we have to understand that the traits of shudras are very prominent so when these people like you go to a buffalo and you tell the buffalo that my dear sir why are you sitting in this gutter see that cow is beautifully sitting in the grass why don't you go and sit in the grass yes so you go and tell a shudra hey listen there is a nice program there na there is a satsang program going on you will hear some divine things some enlightening things please go and watch it yes then that person says oh i am not interested you know because i have to watch game of thrones i have to watch this movie dil to pagal hai shahrukh khan's latest movie right dil to pagal hai i have to watch dilwale dulhaniya le jayenge i have to watch uh, amitabh bachchan's movie na sarkar sarkar raj i think <laughs> oh i have to watch uh, the new season of friends oh my god there's a new book on harry potter my god some imaginary new series has come out yes harry potter part 20 <laughs> so if um, if if this is how the situation is for shudras then you go and tell them oh there is a satsang program can you come there are some divine enlightened things which have been told there then that person is like oh actually i don't have time you see there's i have some work to do and then you go there 
you sit in your home and you open your laptop and you are watching pornography you are watching game of thrones these are the things you are doing oh my god maybe you are watching big boss also so the shudras are not interested in higher things so then what to do my god i'm sweating here it's so hot <laughs> so for the shudras what to do they the scriptures the rishis have given them something which they can be attracted initially so when they read oh there's a book on sex positions on how to have sex better yes then they are like wow interesting man <laughs> so if there are some satsang programs going on talking about kama sutra na i don't know how they will give the satsang na? i don't know <laughs> very highly very highly elevated some rishi might be there na he is going on giving oh you should have sex in this position you should have sex that way it will give you more happiness more pleasure yes so then when they listen all these things yes oh my god kama sutra says you should have sex like this wow it's interesting man let's go and try it today <laughs> yes so then what happens gradually gradually when they get frustrated because why frustration because Prahlad Maharaj says in the seventh canto, he is one of the twelve Mahajans. He is one of the Dwadash Mahajans. He says, "Kandu ye ye na karay varyor hi bahu dukha dukham kandu tivam manasi jam." He says that the pleasure of sex which a man and a woman gets by touching each other is simply a concoction of the mind. Yes, and he says, "Kandu ye ye na karay varyor hi bahu dukha dukham." This will ultimately lead in great misery. now which does not mean that you cannot marry marriage is allowed you can have children uh, born and brought up in a god conscious atmosphere that is allowed that is not prohibited but if somebody is uh, indulging in illicit sex that is not considered good as per the scriptures so for these people they are very much interested in these topics so it is a very great way of attracting them to these scriptures so see how it happens they will read the kama sutra yes then suddenly in between the vedas have all these tricks <laughs> they will put a mantra there somewhere they will say oh chant this mantra of kamadev yes i've seen in youtube people googling how to get your x back how to get your y back how to get your z back <laughs> because nowadays people don't have x they have x y z alpha gamma theta beta so many relationships people have yes so they have all these mantras na that i was seeing in youtube there was a video the name of the video was klim mantra yes it it was from some hindi channel i guess i don't know i mean i just saw the tag line and that's it so now they will start chanting mantras man can you imagine a person who is obsessed with kama sutra he's chanting mantras to see what the vedas have learned they have tricked you <laughs> to chanting a mantra and then many 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 lifetimes when you indulge in all those unnecessary useless garbage then what happens you finally understand ah thak gaya yaar there's nothing here <laughs> how much will you rub as they say na <laughs> kitna ghisoge bhaiya kya milega ghis ke kit aur kitna ghisoge na ghis ghisi rahe ho tum bachpan se <laughs> so that's what happens yes then you get frustration and then after many many lifetimes you go to some other satsang program and then you hear oh my god there is something else also yes oh what's there oh there's a god called ganesh he can give me money oh sounds nice oh there's a god called shiva who can give me a good wife fantastic there's a god called uh, indra who can give me position fantastic so from tamas he comes to rajas and then he comes to sattva where he does spiritual practices without any expectation that is sattva guna yes i will chant this mantra in the morning either i get results or i don't because that is my duty i should chant because in the scriptures it is said jivera swarup hoy krishna ra nitya das the living entity is eternally a servant of god yes that is what is entitled in the scriptures so when the person comes to sattva guna that person understands that this material world is a place of suffering it is a place of misery as lord krishna says dukhalayam asashvatam napnuvanti mahatmana samsiddhim paramam gata that is what lord krishna says that this material world is a place of misery suffering sorrow pain distress depression suppression repression and then 
the person moves towards core spirituality and then he reads the Srimad Bhagavatam where he finds slokas like Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Janmadhyasya Yatonvayadi Taratas Charthe Shubhigya Swarat Tene Brahma Hridayadi Kavaye Mohiyanti Atasurayate Jovarimidam Yatha Vinimayosi Sargomrisha Dhamna Svena Nirastaku Hakam Satyam Param Dhimahe Oh my god <laughs> too long the first look of bhagavatam yes then he understands what the divine knowledge of the scriptures is so kama sutra in essence is nothing but a trick so if you have fallen into the trick very good <laughs> the trick is to let you start chanting some mantra and then eventually you become frustrated of this rubbing as they say pralad Maharaj says na kandu yena karaye vayor he says Manasi jam, this is like simply a concoction of the mind because you never get attracted to a lady cockroach or a lady snake or a lady dog. Yes, you only get attracted to a human op uh, partner of the opposite sex. Yes, so that means there's a programming in your mind. Oh, only he, uh, human opposite sex people from the human gender is beautiful. Yes. Similarly, a cockroach does not get attracted to Ashwarya Rai or to whoever <laughs> because that programming is there inside him yes that oh humans are not beautiful only she cockroaches are beautiful yes a dog will only unite with a anyways change the topic so that is what so when the person eventually experiences frustration in that and then after long 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 times he gets elevated so that is what Kama Sutra does it gives you an allurement oh my god you want to have sex come 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 you come here so it's like uh, Vedas and scriptures are like all accommodating. The scriptures will accommodate everybody and anybody. Yes. The scriptures doesn't want that just because you are a degraded shudra obsessed with all these things. You miss out on things. Yes. The scriptures want that you also start something. And then the scriptures tell that you start chanting mantras. And then gradually you elevate yourself. All right. So it's been a very heavy video and it's quite hot here <laughs> all right so i hope i did not offend anybody and if somebody felt offended my sincere apologies <laughs> i already warned you that please do not see this video it will be very 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 heavy all right so now i know there will be many people who will write essays to me yes like like many people have done for those two videos the eighth house and homosexuality I am ready for those essays. <laughs> I'll simply put them in my trash can, in my delete box. All right. And if you're writing too much of all those things in this video, then I will have to block you unnecessarily. All right. But anyways, if you wish to do so, you can write. I have no problem because I can anyways do what I want. I can block you or I can not respond to you. So I reserve that right. All right. So and, and yes, if you like this video, share it with whoever wants to know why kama sutra is there or you can also share it whoever is searching for what is kama sutra tell them this is kama sutra kama sutra will give you enjoyment then frustration and then enlightenment later all right so that is it from my side if you're new to the channel and you have not yet subscribed then please subscribe to it and if you want a consultation then please approach me through my website the link is there in the description below you can also ask me about kama sutra there <laughs> okay God is there with you all the time. Just look to him and he will also help you get out of this Kama Sutra's trap. Alright. Until next time with another video. Bye bye. See you.